and welcome to another let's play of a game I've had in plans for quite a while. It is called... Well, first let's watch this spaceship take off and enjoy the amazing audio. For it is Space Rogue. No, it's not a rogue like in space. And look, additional material by Warren Spector, programmed by Paul Neurath, who later on became the top guy in Looking Glass, Looking Glass, who made Ultima Underworld and Thief and all other good stuff. Yep, but this is back from the origin days. And let's have a new game. Okay, what is my name? Hmm. I don't really remember if it's supposed to be a first name or a back last name, but I'll an input what I like to use for, you know, modern day or science fiction games. And this is actually a, an approximate English version of my real last name. Have fun figuring that out. Now, on a routine trading mission in the backwater Coronus system, your merchant ship, the Princess Blue, picks up a small craft distress beacon. No life readings, says Captain Delphi. Looks like a derelict. You're on EVA duty, private, so scope it out. Make it quick, we're behind schedule. Yeah, I'm just have to go into Kirk mode there. As you pull on your vac suit, you, you wonder what blue to derelict. Trust the fringe? Pirates? Surely not a munchy attack. Not this deep into the far arm. Yeah, you may be wondering what the hell munchies are and what where the far arm, far arm is, so we'll get into that. With reactionless thrusters, you maneuver more smoothly toward the derelict. The airlock black identifies it as the Jolly Roger, a Sun Razor class scout ship registered in the Deneb system, or Deneb or whatever. You allow yourself to relax a little. After all, what self-respecting pirate would pick a name like that? Funny fact, when I first played this game back in the day, I had no idea what the Jolly Roger actually means, or meant. The airlock opens at a touch, and cycles you smoothly in, not blown after all. Garnet laser, memory banks intact, she seems a-okay, if a bit spartan. What went wrong? Alert! Alert! screams the voice in your helmet mic. You rush to the cockpit to see the Princess Blue, she's under attack by Munchy Vulture class hive ship. Evac! Evac! the helmsman shouts. Scramble! Scam! And the battle is over. Before you can blink, the Munchy plasma tops strike the Princess's unshielded thrusters. The helpless merchant explodes in a flare of radiation. The Manchi ignore your derelict ship. As suddenly as they disappeared, they vanish into the depths of space. You sit in a battered scout ship far from the nearest Imperial star base, alone, with no clear goal. Save survival. Ooh, I'm getting shivers myself from my op awesome reading here. Okay, and this is it. Let's see if I can remember how to... Hmm... Oh, what was... Oh, crap. Huh. That's weird. Hmm... Okay, that's... No, it is one of these buttons. Ah, yay, I found a different viewing thing is so uh hmm. Oops, chat is in cargo and switching to navigation panel. Huh. 
this is a bit odd. I mean, Okay, at least that text appears. Okay, now it, uh, the text is properly up there. Good. For a moment, I was worried about the game being glitched. Okay, there's the version. Ooh, and it shows the views. Accidentally put the ship into a spin. Whoops. Yeah, this is Okay, excuse me for a moment while I look up the controls. Okay, this certainly puts a damp on my reputation as a professional, whatever. Okay, we are back and I figured out the controls, such as what to do to help you stop control that rolling. Okay, now you may see a small crosshair on the screen, which is the mouse control thingy. I mean, this is actually a great way to control the ship in this game. Left button accelerate, rates, right button decelerates. The speedometer goes up to 70, which means 70, per, uh, 70 meters per second. And uh, space bar fires, we have the garnet laser. Uh, the different lasers in this game are named after gemstones. There's garnet, another laser was sapphire, and I honestly don't remember what the third laser type is called. At the bottom there it shows the name and status of our ship, or the type and status of our ship. We have 300 points of armor, and we have systems fully functional, we have forward shield, engine, beam, and M was missile launcher. And on the bottom right well, the green uh, light on the top refers to a uh, sort of a um, st status on sh of ships nearby. Green means, well, either there are none or all present are friendly. Uh, orange means there's someone attacking us. And purple means that there are ships which are fighting each other. And, uh, well, that that green bar below. Oh, look! Now there is a, a friendly ship arrived. This is a cruiser, which is an imperial military ship. Yeah. You can, uh, well, tell throw messages your way, and you can attack them, demand they surrender them. Actually, yeah, you can't demand that they surrender their cargo. If you attack merchant ships, they will eventually offer to give up their cargo in exchange for, exchange for keeping their lives. Which actually seems pretty rare in these 
elite like space fighting and this space flight games i mean usually when you resort to piracy it means blowing up a merchant ship and scooping up whatever cargo you can from the wreckage oh and as the arrows uh, pointing towards the ship are orange that means that if you fire your laser now it will hit it accounts for both your orientation and distance and there is no actual radar in this game no or radar view you have a the targeting thing which will point you towards the ship in question whether it is in your view or not oh what else yeah and as you can see one of those uh, three squares lit up as the ship approached that means the status of ships nearby oh and there's another friendly one tanker that's a merchant ship and i believe you can have a maximum of three other ships in the same sector as you and okay then we have that m in the bottom right Actually, that's oh no. Okay, the circle that gets smaller is the charge of your lasers. You can keep firing even if it's empty, but that means your laser will do less damage. Now let's let's enter how you actually get around in this game. The navigation panel. You can chart the course of the status of your ship and what is on board your ship means both equipment not showing the status and cargo and what you have on your person on personal status uh, bounty on yourself reputation which basically means how uh, well your combat skills are known and your reputation or uh, the attitude of three factions towards you now oh, I guess this would be a good time to go through some backstory. This is the far future. There's a whole empire of man, but it's not Warhammer 40k. And we are in the so a fringe region called Far Arm. And well, mankind it's, uh, humans themselves haven't figured figured out how to do um Faster than light travel for this we have Malir gates or Malir gates or whatever. To me, I'll call them Malir. The Malir were uh, and your ancient precursor species, which disappeared and left behind fancy, highly advanced art technological artifacts. Nobody really, not really, really knows how they function, and these gates are. Uh, Basically, they have, they are two-way wormholes. We won't get through them just yet. Now, oh, what else? Okay, there's the factions, Empire or Imperium, Traders, Pirates, and the Manchi mentioned in the opening are one of the alien species. In this game, they look like giant ants, and they are are at a state of war against humans. Nobody really knows why. Nobody has really been able to capture a live manchi and they don't communicate with humans, they just shoot and shoot on sight. Oh yeah, and the query option will show you information about the currently selected uh, sector. Now and this game has a very lovely manual. Origin was really good at putting together all those extra stuff for the games. And some there are these log messages left by the previous owner of this ship. Such as this one. Can't think straight. Too much pain must one be got to... Uh, uh. So uh, I do wonder how to own 
it on went from here he sounds like he was pretty bad state and since that's arg, arg is in there I'm assuming this is a dictation or a recorded voice message or right, that he, he did his writing to Monty Python and the Holy Grail way and well scanning is basically looking around without charting a course as you do it okay terrestrial planet well Actually, uh, our ship's ship does not have heat shielding, so we won't be able to land on those. This is an iron storm. Good idea to avoid those. This is a, a nebula, asteroid field, gas, gas giant. Okay, and this is an imperial star base. While over here we have a trading outpost, or um, actually it is a mining outpost. I guess they do asteroid mining. And I'm not sure... Oh! This thing. Black hole. You do not want to go into cockpit mode while on over one. I mean, you can pass through the sector, though it takes some time. Okay, let's... Actually, this has been long enough with, with the explaining. So I'll uh, end this video here and we'll get to gameplay next video.